I'm gonna create a live stream that's run entirely by AI. I plan to automate the entire stream from cloning AI voices to developing AI conversations, generating AI art, and replying to chat with AI responses. So let's see, can I break 100 viewers by a live stream run entirely by AI? I'm starting off by asking ChatGPT for 30 livestream ideas that can be automated by AI. Now, I originally had the idea of a presidential debate between Joe Biden and Donald Trump where they take in questions from the chat and answer them using AI. Remember, nobody builds walls better than Trump, nobody. Unfortunately, someone somehow had the exact same idea and beat me to the chase. So we need to think of something completely original that's never been done before. AI spooky stories sound spooktacular. There's tons of popular YouTube channels that tell spooky stories or go over true crime, so I can't see why this won't work in a live stream format. With my niche picked out, I need to develop a strategy on how this AI stream is going to work. Step one, to build AI live stream. Step two, get a ton of viewers. Okay, no, seriously, if we want this AI stream to take off, we need to develop an entire plan for this process. This plan will consist of six steps, starting with the branding of our YouTube live stream. Let's start with our name. 30 names for a live stream that tells spooky AI generated stories. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, those names all kind of sucked, so we're gonna go with spooky AI. I feel like that's pretty on brand. Next up, our channel description. Write a fun and spooky description for a live stream that tells spooky AI generated stories and takes topic ideas from the viewers. Welcome to spooky AI. Here we make up scary s Okay, that description is kind of corny, but who cares who even reads a YouTube description? On to our profile picture. I use the program Imagine Art to AI generate ourselves a spooky profile picture. Imagine Art makes text to image simple by entering in your prompt along with other customizational options. They also have some other cool features like in painting image remix and background expanding. And after a little while of testing some different prompts, I landed on this banger of a profile picture. Boom, the channel's branding is done entirely by AI. But now for the real challenge. This AI live stream is gonna be comprised of four basic elements. The spooky AI generated story, the spooky AI voice reading the story, the spooky AI generated background music, and the spooky AI characters talking. I know I use the word basic, but coding this together in Python is going to be anything but basic. Well, it's time to whip out the old textbook and start relearning how to code. I first asked ChatGPT to develop me a program that auto-generates AI horror stories based on a text file. Now ChatGPT gave me some very basic code, but it was enough to get me started. And with a few tweaks to the program, including adding my API key, we had a very basic program that auto-generated AI horror stories. Now I'm not saying these stories were good, but getting started is the hardest part of creating a program, so I was happy with these results. The next step would be connecting some type of text to speech that would sound something like this. I am Dracula. Unfortunately, every single API for text to speech either costs Elon Musk's level of money or Einstein's level of intelligence to operate. Since I have neither, we went with a free text to speech from Google that was very easy to implement into our program. Logan Paul goes to Japan and is immediately attacked by a horde of zombies. He fights them off, but is bitten in the process. No, I wouldn't say the voice sounds spooky, which is what we were going for, but it's definitely AI generated, which is perfect for our live stream. The next thing we needed was some spooky background music for our live stream to play on loop. So I hopped on this website to AI generate me some songs, spooky background music. That didn't sound scary at all. Maybe we gotta be a bit more specific. Let's try spooky and eerie music I might hear at a graveyard on Halloween. <laughs> Due to a loss of cabin pressure, four oxygen masks will drop from a compartment over your head. Ignore those. Okay, who is jamming to this in a graveyard? So I tried testing out a few more AI music generators, but the creepy, eerie sound I was looking for just wasn't happening. Eventually, I just found someone else's AI generation of a creepy song, and it was perfect for our live stream. No idea what program they used, but shout out that guy. Okay, with the background music added into the program, the last step would be having an AI generated face read off the horror stories. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I thought this was gonna be a little bit difficult 
but not 10 hours long difficult. At about the 10 hour mark, I completely gave up. I went through every single Discord channel, every single Reddit thread. I even hired someone on Fiverr and got scammed and nobody could help me set this up. So I realized we gotta pivot and add something else that's AI generated to the stream that isn't just a talking face. So feeling like crap, it was time to recoup and think outside the box. That's when I thought of an AI generated image that displays on the screen that directly relates to the story. So if the story is about a creepy clown that works at McDonald's, the image that would get generated would look something like this. So I went to ChatGPT and asked the program to adapt itself so that instead of having a talking face, we have an AI generated image. Now the first image it generated in this program was well, not that spooky. However, with a few minor tweaks, we got an absolutely terrifying generation that's gonna work perfect on our live stream. Now, unfortunately, we have to use the program Doll E, which is nowhere near as good as other image generation programs like Mid Journey or Stable Diffusion. But honestly, in our case, the worst generated images are sometimes even creepier because of how distorted they are. So it kind of works out using a worse program. Now, at this point in the program, pretty much everything is created. We just need to add some finishing touches in OBS to make the stream that much much better. I found a way to add movement to the text so the story is constantly flowing and also set up the images so that they auto update when a new story is brought on stream. Lastly, I implemented a component that grabs the topic ideas from chatters and adds it to a notepad which the AI program then takes by random and generates an AI story. Now this was actually a lot more complicated than I thought. I had to sign up for Google's API program and a bunch of boring mumbo jumbo later we had a working program program that takes in a topic when a user uses this command. And with every element added, we had a fully functioning automated AI live stream with AI images, AI stories, and AI text to speech. If you guys are interested in building your very own AI live stream, which is surprisingly very lucrative, I've made a full in-depth tutorial for all the Kingdom Club members along with all the project files used in today's video. If you're an online entrepreneur or a content creator, this is the club for you. It'll be in the first link down below. Now, the last thing we needed to do was press live and test this AI live stream out, and we got hit with a massive reality check. I completely forgot how hard discoverability is on YouTube when it comes to live streaming. In our test stream, we had absolutely zero new viewers in the chat, so I had to personally test out the chat features, and I realized a massive problem with our AI live stream. Whenever someone requested a topic that was not safe for work, the stream would completely shut down because the AI image generating program Dolly completely blocks any image that might be considered bad under their guidelines. Now this is something I personally didn't plan for and I was hit with a hard reality check when I typed this in chat. So I had to go back onto my computer and fix up the program so whenever someone requests a topic that is considered bad, the program will still tell the story but it just won't generate the image. This is probably for the best as I could see someone requesting requesting something absolutely horrendous and my live stream will most likely get taken down. Holy, you're getting banned, that's it, okay? I ran the stream for another hour and everything went smoothly, so I decided tomorrow was gonna be the day that we go live and try and hit 100 viewers. So I spent all night concocting a master marketing plan on how I was gonna hit 100 viewers on this AI live stream. It took me all night to organize this master plan and I'll lay it out for you guys right now. Beg people to join my live stream. What? All right, now I know this plan is trash, but if all I needed to hit was 100 viewers, I feel like if I did enough begging, we could maybe get there. So I went into a bunch of other live streams and became the most annoying human, or technically AI, ever spamming other viewers to come join my live stream and participate in the AI horror storytelling. And as bad as this plan was, it surprisingly worked. Now don't get me wrong, it definitely upset some people. And if you're actually trying to build your live stream, absolutely under no circumstances ever do this. But just because this was for a YouTube video and I have no plans of ever streaming on YouTube again, I decided we'd take in all the hate as long as we hit our goal of 100 viewers. And after around an hour or two of begging, we finally hit our goal of 100 viewers and what I would consider a successful AI live stream. This project was so much fun to film and create and if you enjoyed it, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and join the Kingdom Club if you want all the original files that were used in today's video.